like, okay, everybody, we're going to make a super simple table today. A good friend of mine called me. He's a manager at a restaurant. He said he had been looking for a table to fill a space at the restaurant, and he could not find one the dimensions he needed. So he called me up and said, can you build it? And I said, yes. So we're going to make a super simple table. It's just going to have a top and a shelf down on the bottom. After writing the dimensions on my handy dandy whiteboard, I started cutting the pieces of poplar for the top and the bottom shelf on the miter saw. Okay, standard glue up here. I like to try to get this as flat as possible and then crank the clamps down just a little bit and then do them one at a time, kind of pushing on the seams to try to get it as flat as I can. Okay, started cutting pieces for the legs next. These are two and a quarter. If you wanted square legs, you could do three pieces of these each. Three quarter inch board times three gives you two and a quarter, and that would give you square legs. Um, I only wanted them to be a little rectangular, so there are actually two pieces of these per leg, so they're one and a half by two and a quarter each. I jointed and planed these legs once they got done being glued up. If you don't have a jointer and a planer, when you get to this step, you're going to have to be very careful to try to get these as flush as possible, and that way you can keep them level and get them even with sanding. Next I did the glue up with the bottom shelf. Busted out the scraper here and got rid of all the excess glue, and then I sanded with 80 grit. Cut the table legs down to 29 and a quarter to give a total height of the table to 30 inches. And here I sanded the top and the bottom shelf with 120 and then 220. Okay, so I got the square out here and I went in a half inch on each of the corners and I marked where the legs were going to attach. I put the unattached legs in place and then marked where they were going to go. I also marked off where I was going to drill pocket holes and I marked each one with a one, two, three, and four so I wouldn't mistake where I was going to put each leg. If you'll notice, I upgraded from the double Craig jig to this uh, workbench clampable one, and I like it a lot. Okay, once I got all the holes drilled, I put some glue on them, put them in place, clamped them, and screwed them in. Next, I measured for the length of the aprons, put it on my whiteboard, and cut those. Whenever I'm measuring for a workpiece that's going to go in between two other workpieces, I try to be a little conservative in the measurement, give myself a little bit extra in case it's too long. In this case, it was, and so I wanted to show you here that what happens a lot is it comes out a little bit long, you have to trim a little bit off of it, and then you have to take it back and put it in place, make sure it fits. I got two aprons out of each 1x6. Once I got them cut to length and width, I sanded them down with 120 and 220. I drilled some pocket holes in the aprons, I put them in place, and then I inset them about an eighth of an inch between each of the legs, and then I screwed them in place.
Next I measured to get exact dimensions for the bottom shelf and then I cut that down to size. I put the bottom shelf under the legs and then I just marked a line around each of the legs so I would know where to make cuts with the jigsaw. Time to bust out the old Craig jig so I could drill pocket holes to attach this to the legs. I marked a line four inches up from the bottom of each leg so I would know where to attach the shelf. I put some spackle on the bottom shelf where it butted up against the legs just to make sure there weren't any gaps there. And then I routed a half inch round over on the top of the table. I did one more sanding of the whole thing with 220 grit just to get ready for paint. I got one good coat of paint on this thing. Then I sanded the whole thing down again with 220. I put one more coat of paint on it and then I put three coats of wipe on poly on it to finish it. And that's it for this one. Thanks as always for all the support. You guys have been great. Have a good day.